so good evening everybody how are you all i'm paint with penny this is issue 55 and this is horlix hello everyone how is everyone this evening sorry i've just caught a message as sorry because I'm, I'm watching the chat and i just saw a message that it come up as held as review so hello everybody um i have got a guest on the show today um he's not a builder he doesn't build this part work but it's somebody that's taken a bit of an interest he's actually a work colleague of mine um i'd like to introduce you all to richard hello hello richard hello so <laughs> richard tell us a little bit about yourself um <laughs> well i'm richard um uh, we're a colleague of pennies um uh, and i don't know what else to say <laughs> So, what's your job? Oh, I'm a driver, bus driver. You're a bus driver. And where do you I drive am. to? Do you have any specific routes? A Cardiff. You're a Cardiff bus driver. So, there we oh. go. We already know twice as much about you now as we did a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question that probably everyone's going to be wanting to know is, if you don't build this, this model, what brought you to this show? Because you've been watching for a few weeks now, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, I used to build like model aircraft when I was a kid. It just interests me, that's all. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so hello to everyone who has uh, said hello in the chat. We've got Coldy Cop, Bus Spotters, Adrian Langley, Fleetwood J, Roger Kendall, Love Minis, Levi Otter. Um, I don't remember your name late. Have I, have I missed you? Have I forgotten you, Levi? Uh, we've got Dave Mill. No show is complete without the Daves. Dave Mill and Dave Say, Peter Whitlock, uh, is it Kevin Peachy or is it just Kevin? Um, we've got Steve Heisen, Steve Graham, Chris. No show would be uh, complete without Chris. Now, Chris Campling being on here um, has reminded me of a question I want to ask you, Richard. Yeah. I hear you like to entertain people with your organ. I do, yes. <laughs> Would you like to uh, complete that before everybody thinks the worst? <laughs> yeah, um, a church organ. <laughs> church organ. I've seen some of your videos. You are actually very good. Thank you. So we'll see if we can dig something up later on. Um, so see that some people we're doing mods we'll talk about the terminator later on um kevin obviously this is we start off with we deal with the root master um world of waste and the teeth chris camping i've been watching a guy called jazzy creations he built a full i think i saw that but obviously you've posted that link so if anybody wants to have a look they can um did you the video of colin was driving the bus 424 do you know what? I haven't seen many videos. I've had a really hectic week. Um, <laughs> so I've not. What are you laughing at? You know what I'm laughing at. What There's are you a lot laughing of destruction at? in the background. Oh, yes. Right. Okay. Um, I did mention um, we've got two, two new co hosts just for tonight. Um, yeah, I'll get it over and done with. I'll show you. Um, on Saturday, I, I had this little problem. I couldn't, um, I couldn't help myself, so I bought these two. And what's absolutely brilliant is that they actually interact with each other. So every now and again, you'll hear one talk, and then that will set the other one off, which will set the first one off. And um, it's they're, they're just absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, this R2 is just, he's funny as anything. Um, I wonder what the noise was. I thought it was your phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that was... Um, that was that was uh, R two, so um, I'll, I'll I'll give you a quick um, twenty second demo. Um, it, it links up to this um, this uh, smartphone app. You can also hook it up to this watchy thing. Um, but let me just um, hook hook him up, and I'll just show you a couple of things. He does some pretty mad things, but. Um, Oh, you're Ian Bosnell. No, that's fine. We like to see new names, Levi. So, um, but yeah, I mean, he doesn't work that well because my my desk isn't completely uh, flat. But when it's flat, there he is. He's off now. So we can do things like. Um, 
like that. Um, this is my favourite one. But when he does that, he's supposed to sort of tilt himself, so he falls oh, forward. He's plugged in, that's why, probably. Uh, uh, that might be it, actually. So let's try that again, then. Where did you get those? I got these off Amazon. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I decided to tarp myself up at the weekend. Uh... Oh, yeah, he does I'm gonna thing. have to get one to go with my full my bigger one my big one. They cost oh, no. something like um he was the cheapest one actually, but the whole lot came to about 130 pounds. Um he was wow. more expensive and he's a lot harder to control. So he's a bit annoying actually. So right, let's um let's do some building, shall we? Because that is after all what we are here for. So um, I picked up my issue 55 this morning and um, and then I came home and the postman came. So I have now got issues 54. There's a trick for you there, Horlicks. Let hide your address. Yeah. Um, so I just I just ripped open the back somewhere just because I got all excited the other day and I thought they'd arrived. And I, I opened them up, and they were my Terminator. So, um, as you can see, I genuinely don't know. In fact, there's some extra issues there. One, two, three. No, there's four issues. One of them's quite big. So I think that's the roof or something, isn't it? So um, I might not even open those. Um, so, right, Horlix. Yes. Would you like to tell us what we are expecting? Right. Tell us all about that cover, which is going to buy me time to open the magazine up. Okay, so it looks to me like the picture anyway, uh, that we might be adding Ooh. another bit of wall in, possibly. Okay. But I don't know. Uh, there's also a lovely picture uh, of Route 185, <laughs> Kennington to Victoria. And the RT type bus. Horlicks, this is why I asked you to co host. I have just put you on the spot quite badly there, and you have come up smelling of roses. Makes a change. You no, know, <laughs> you are brilliant. Um, now, my first impression of this magazine was that, I mean, obviously, when I picked the magazine up, it looked something like that. It didn't look like there were an awful lot of parts. However, I've said that in the past, and we have had a lot to do. So I'm reserving judgment on that for the moment. I'm just going to move my Terminator parts. Um, I actually filmed a Terminator last night, um, so that will be going live on Friday. Um, so I'm just going to gently pop all the parts into the tray, and then would you like to go through them? Just check that looks empty. We're starting to get bits of um, glass so sometimes you can't tell if if you've got everything. That's why I don't throw this away straight away. Okay, so before we start with the parts, we're going to be fitting cables to the bell pushes at the rear entrance. Um, yep. I'm just waiting for Chris to come up with something. Uh, yeah. we, we, we add some finishing touches to the rear entrance wall and then fit the wall to the end of the lower deck passenger compartment. So that is what we've got in this issue. Okay. Um, the first part should be 55A. Hang on, I'm just going to pause you for a moment. Uh, P40F20, um, I am aware you've left a comment. I will actually raise that later on because for me, that's really exciting news. And Richard has lost his internet momentarily. He's going to try and reconnect with us a little bit later. So, sorry, yeah. Uh, 55A right end wall, you said. Yeah, 55A. Uh, so, we've got right so end wall. This is the part. It's a plastic part with painted painted sections. And uh, pretty much like the side walls, it's got some nice little different bits of colour. Um, looks rather nice. So, I'm happy Ooh. with that. Oh, I've got something we can speculate on later with that part. Oh, you know we like speculating. Um, okay. Uh, 55B. 
Uh, so as, again, 55 means the issue number. So we're going to name these A, B, C. Um, B is a left end wall. Okay, so the same as this side, but obviously different. No, that didn't really come out well, but there we go. And uh, these two are interacting with each other at the moment. So, yep, that's that part. So, again, plastic but painted parts looking very nice. Okay, C is a window pane. C is a window pane. And there we are. You probably can't see it, but a piece of acrylic in a nice little... Uh, Seal, seal bag there. So I'll probably keep that bag because they're quite useful. Uh, D is a cable, uh, which should be labelled K. So there we have a letter K. I don't know if you can see that too well. It's there somewhere. And these are two switches. I'm trying to be quite careful with them. Now, I will be testing these later on. And I will show you how I will test them. And at this moment in time, because we've got two switches on the same connection, I'm guessing that this is set up. There we go. So we there's the K end, which is a small connection. And then we've got a little junction box there, a little, what do you call that, where they you can disconnect them. Not going to disconnect them, but... They look like you've got the male and the female and they've been put together. And then oh, you've I got a short wire, which is a switch. And then you've got a longer end, which has got a switch. And it's my guess that these are wired up so that if you press either of these, it will complete the circuit. So we will we'll try and set up a little uh, circuit on the Arduino with an LED bulb. And then what should happen if it's set up correctly and they work, um, then uh, pressing either of these will, will cause the LED to light. Obviously, we don't have a bell noise to make, but I'm, I'm guessing these are for the bells. Mm. But that looks fine. And there's plenty of cable there. It's quite long. A long one, yeah. Long one, yep. Okay. Uh, e is some tape strips. There we go. So we've actually got some from previous issues, um, which I don't know if we'll need these anymore, but this is not a solar panel as it looks like in the magazine. So Okay. And then that's all the parts, and then we should have uh, loads of screws. So Okay, should... you're just going to have to bear with me while I catch up um, because... I've just realized my ah that's interesting right so we've got all p screws this week so I'm not going to bother with my m screws and what I've just noticed because you know me I just chuck the screws in and don't worry about it yeah um oh love minis has just noticed that my um, nails match the bus they kind of do on stream. These are actually purple. Right. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Then we've got nothing. And I've left that intentionally blank because the next one is O. So obviously I can go J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Um, and I noticed that we've got M screws, which we haven't had any M screws. D we've already got. And J we've already got. So actually these ones we don't need. So um, so sorry, my apologies there. Um, so do you want to go through the screws with us? Yep, okay. So you should have eight red MP screws. Right, eight red MP screws. So sorry, I'm actually hopeless with my alphabet. Yeah, I'm so I, ha I, have, I have to count. Right, it's like counting. So we'll put the sticker on the M there, J K L M N. So we have got did you say eight? Yeah, there should be eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now they look to me more brown than now they are red, but they look a bit browny. Oh, maybe my eyesight's just going because it's quite late and I'm tired and etc. Okay, so the next screws. Okay, uh, we should have five grey MP screws. 
okay oh there we are and they are actually gray they are painted gray so, so this is quite interesting we've not had gray screws yet have we no so there you go there's a double first i might have to just change that oh we've got richard back hello richard hello <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna have to adjust your volume again you were a little bit loud earlier on so i just turned you down a bit oh Sorry, I've got so, my mouth full. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to say that with Chris Campbelling around. <laughs> okay, so we've got our grey M screw, so that should leave our next ones. Yep, so we should have six cream MP screws. Um, Paul, it's not really so much that it's OCD. It's just more a case of if you spend two minutes just sorting things out, it saves you half an hour later on trying to find them. Um, so there are six cream screws there. And obviously, you're probably better off putting them in once you're building, but you know me. Yeah. Right, so next on the agenda. Right, you should have three cream DP screws. Okay. And we do have three cream. One, two, three. One, two, three. God, they're tiny. They are. Right, next one. Right, uh, three red DP screws. So there are three red DP screws. This probably isn't the best way to do them, but I just kind of aim them for my palm. And lastly, we have got... Five JP screws. Five JP screws. And these are black. And these are big, chunky screws. And these go in the section here. Oh, these are the ones we used last week, isn't it? So we've got a spare red one and a spare cream one. Yeah, I think so. Right, so that's all the parts present and correct. Okay. So I'll just pop those ready. Okay, so would you like to show us stage one? Yeah, there we go. Oh, so. Oh, we're kicking it off straight away with some wiring. We are. We're going for it straight away, aren't we? So. Uh, step one, you need to arrange cable K, which is part D, around the inside of the doorway panel, 54A, in the orientation shown. Uh, start by fitting the bell push in place near the top of the entrance, as indicated by the red dotted line. Uh, arrange the cable around the doorway, as shown, ending by fitting the second bell push as indicated by the light blue dotted line. Right. Okay. So I'm guessing it might be a good idea now to go back and fit the bell presses that we didn't fit last week. Yes. So this is the first one. I'm going to, I'm just going to change that to a fixed focus because that's doing me head in. All right. So let's take a focal point of about there. That light is way too strong as well, which really doesn't help. So, I should just turn it off because sometimes the light in my room is actually. Is that still all right? Can we cope with that, guys? Yeah. I think that's a nice focus point there. So, you notice that there is a small notch just there. So, and there's a small notch there. So we line that up. Now, if I remember rightly, one of these goes in really firm and one goes in just firm. So that's gone in nice. And I'm really happy with that. And then the second one, it goes in exactly the same orientation. You've got the notch there and the notch is there. So that just simply goes in there. I'm just going to just move my camera because we've got some action in a minute. 
Oh, this is yeah. These have actually gone in both quite firm. So, so there's there it is with the bell presses in, looking rather splendid. So I'm going to move this out of the way, um, and let's. Um, I'm going to pop the magazine down because I'm just worried I might be pressing down a bit, and I may end up scratching. So let's. So it looks to me like we want to put the long end on this side and the short end this side so what i'll do is i'll do that first now they're not going to go in tight so the long end can go there you see how they're not going to stay in on their own um Right, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to I'm going to ask you to skip to stage two because stage two, I think you kind of need to work more on stage two rather than stage one. You see that you've got bits of tape. Yeah, I, there's no way I, I'm going to be able to, to fit this and it all stays in place without actually taping it down. You no. can see that with these just jumping out. So, were you about to say, oh, Richard's gone. I think Richard is having problems with his internet connection. So, stage two. Okay. Um, so, check the cable runs across the bottom of the panel from the top of the door seal, indicated in light blue. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, there should be a little sh uh, slack in the cable at the side of the panel, as indicated by the red arrows. Okay, so yeah, we need a bit of slack on that side. Tape the cable in place using four strips of tape, uh, 55E. You may find that the lengths of the red and black cable at the end, circled in red, are uneven. This is not a problem. Okay, so I've been kind of been doing a bit of a test fit as you were talking. And I'm probably going to have to show you with the light on. So let's bring that light down. I'd rather have too much light here than not enough. Um, so let's just fiddle with the focus a bit. That's a bit sharp. All right. So I think the best way to do this is to fit this short bit first. So this short bit is going to go into there. And then it's just going to go straight out like that. Yeah, but this part is kind of going to go with it, and then at, at the point where it meets this this recess there, it's then going to go straight down, like so. So I think if we put a piece of that tape sort of across there and try and get it down to there i think that's well that's what, what i'm liking well uh, if i can interrupt you may it, interrupt it does say that we might you might find that the lengths of the red and black cable at that point differ so i think it would be worth starting from the top right and working round because if you've got uneven lengths you're going to have too much slack slack of cable okay. hanging around how's about this for a better idea i am going to cut some pieces of masking tape and then we'll mask it off if we have problems i've just wasted a couple of bits of masking tape yeah if it works fine we can then replace the masking tape with the final sticky bits how does that sound okay yeah so I'm going to put a massive piece of masking tape there. I mean, it might well be that this masking tape works better and that we could actually keep that like that. But that's held that down. And then what I want to do is then work on this bit. And then this needs to go along that recess there. Yeah. And then it needs to be taped there. So we will put a smaller strip of masking tape 
there. Let's cut that to there. I think we've just, I've heard, yeah, Richard's back. Richard's obviously having problems with his, his internet connection. Yeah, I just keep dropping all the time. Right, so that I'm happy with. So now we want to get this bottom bit so that it's taped down. And it seems... Ah, now it does... Can I just... Can you do me a favour and just enlarge the bottom on section two? So it's asking for a gap of about nine millimetres, which is... Um, I've got my ruler... I mean, obviously, it's nine is quite a precise measurement. I would suggest it's it's approximately. So it wants to go about there. That's about nine, which is looking about three fifths of the way up. So if I, I'm going to put this on quite loose, so that I can still move the wire. Should you not glue uh, that on later? No, we're, we're taping it, but we've got the tape, but we're not sure if it's going to be taped, if it's ta if it'll tape properly. So we're just going to use the masking tape and then we'll replace it once we're happy. So I want this piece to come down and kind of form a right angle. And then this piece wants to go. Ah, that's interesting. That's actually not quite long enough. <laughs> So yeah that's right so now you need to take off the large piece of masking tape and then pull some more wire through but won't that give too much slack it's a, here? It, yeah uh, no just pull that one wire through okay so yeah. there's gonna be a bit of a it'll be uneven but it does say that it isn't a problem um it right. does mention okay. that so that can go back on there just, I guess, so long as the wire does go down this channel. Yeah. Right. So, more wire. And I would say we want just a little bit more. I suppose this is all going to get hidden behind something anyway. Yeah. Right. Right, okay. So does this wire want to, it wants to go, it says this has just got to be loose, doesn't it? Yeah, part of it needs a bit of slack. Um, just here. Um, it's showing it come down, to sort of about halfway down the window, and then it wants a bit of slack from there. Well, it's got plenty of slack now. Just be yeah. careful as well. I've just noticed I'm pushing down on this. I'm at risk of uh, breaking these pieces. So, now, one worry I've got here is these buttons, when when That's we've got it. this all fitted, there's nothing to hold those in. Yet. Un unless this is going to hold them in. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's that's really the operative word, isn't it? Yet. Mm -hmm. Right, so are we as a group happy with this positioning? Yeah. No idea. Happy. So I'm suggesting then that we put two pieces of tape there and there first. Then we can remove this. Then we... This tape seems to definitely be going over the switch, which means there's not going to be enough tape to go all the way along there. Would you put extra on? I suppose it's not going to. You've got some. Could spare, I use so this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's up just. I don't know. I don't know if it's. It's actually. It's not going to go over the switch uh, because if because the switch has got two um, holes for screws. Uh, top and bottom, so we don't want to block that. Right. So, so something's going to screw in. Yeah. yeah oh I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. But I think we're just going to do the wiring. I can put a bit of tape across there, 
but I won't. I would like to put a piece of tape across there where it changes direction. That just would make me feel comfortable. Yeah, I think, yeah, you need to put the tape on. Yeah, right. On both so we're definitely going to tape here, aren't we? Yeah. There, where my, where my fingers are now. Yeah. Right. Okay. So have I just lost that, that tape? There it is. So. So one piece of tape about there. And what I've noticed with this tape before, it does stick quite, quite well once it's stuck. But if you want to just think normally, with this may not be the case, if you just hold your finger over it, it kind of activates the glue better. Um, it's one of the things that I noticed with the, um, the remember the kick plates on the on the bench seats. Yeah, it's almost like the heat. Uh, David Fenn is saying keep the masking tape, and I don't think I can disagree with that at all. Surely extra tape is better than not enough tape. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't the best tape in the world. This is quite cheap and nasty. Uh, this is B&Q, actually. So then I'll tape this one down there. So I'll keep this wire quite tight so it keeps its straight line. <clears throat> And I guess it's going to need that clearance. That's why it's saying nine mil. So if I put the tape there, this is the point where someone goes, stop in capital letters. No, that's normally me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember when I did that. Millennium Falcon. Yes, that's right. The frame. I was filing down the frame to make yeah. it fit. Yeah, and there's Horlex typing stop, stop, stop. Because what I was actually doing was I was I was actually filing the wrong bit. Um, the reason it didn't fit was because I was fitting it wrong, and I was just trying to file it to make it fit. You were but just we, trying we to were test this, that was all. Yeah, yeah. Right. So should I play safe? And I'm I'm definitely going to replace this piece of masking tape because this black tape is stronger than that masking tape. So. In fact, what I'll do, hmm. I'll just peel back a bit so that it's still held down with a little bit of tape. <clears throat> that is what I suspected. I thought we'd be able to get the tape in there and still leave those screw holes ex 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 exposed. How does that look? In fact, actually, no, that tape is strong enough to hold that in. So with, with whatever's going on the back there, that'll give that extra strength. So I might as well, on the subject of keep the masking tape... I'll just oh. trim this tape down. Don't, cut, don't, cut, in, don't cut in the way that I cut. It's the best way to lose your fingertip. Um, have you that. got? Have you lost the other tape? You've got some more spare black tape, haven't you? I ha uh, yeah, I have. But I think that will be all right like that. Because, look, if you really push this mask and tape down, it does actually stay down all right. It's where, I, I bought this to mask off the R2-D2, but the R2-D2 has got some quite heavy parts. So when you got like 14 pieces all pulling on this mask and tape, it's not strong enough. But for a little while like this, I think that's fine. Right. So <clears throat> what I want to do now is I'll use the last piece of black tape to tape this this screw down, uh, this um, um, whatever it's called, a switch. And that will be all of that. And it does actually look like we have got plenty of tape here. It's just using it correctly. Me using masking tape is just being belt and braces. 
but I will just put an extra bit down actually across there. So, um, yeah, because I think that bit was supposed to have gone downwards over the join. Yeah. Oh, you've got a spare, so. Yeah. Many a tape. Oh, well, that's better. better. You've seen me now. now. Why have we got four people on the on the stream now? Richard, have you appeared twice? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just kind of logged in on my phone. That would explain why there's a big echo here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So. So what I'll do, I've got two little bits here. So I'll cut those in half. I think that'll be long enough. So I, I really, I just feel more comfortable placing a piece across this, this 90 degree angle here, like so. There you go. That just makes me happy. And then I'm going to place another bit. I don't think I've got enough there because it's obviously not sticking properly. So um, use this small bit. So there you go, guys. Keep your keep your leftovers. You never know when it comes in handy. You should get a job of the garage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, that I, so, you mean so that I can sew up body parts with um, cable ties. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a tape together. Right. Yeah, Peter Whitlock is saying that masking tape dries out over time and loses its grip. So we don't. I I got a feeling. Uh, I'm I'm technically speculating now. I don't know how far ahead you've read Horlix, but I think that these are all going to be held in with another panel anyway. Right. If looking at the screw holes. I, I think this looked at heads, but no. I, yeah, I have now. But that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I think this is just to hold it in place until we get the panels in. Yeah. So, um, right. Is everybody happy with that? It's a little bit messy because of the masking tape, but I think that's a little bit stronger than uh, what we actually, uh, what the magazine's intended. And, and stronger is always better than weaker. But... These screws, believe it or not, these screws aren't coming out. If, you know, if you bang those screws, they're going to come out. But that that tape is actually holding it in place. So, but I wouldn't I wouldn't test them too much at this point. Okay. So, right. should we to stage three, and stage that was exhausting. Three. So, I'm going to roll myself a little cigarette while you describe that part. Okay. Well, there's a little. Uh... A little helpful tip in the corner. We uh, like help, don't it, we? Yeah, it just says, remember that when we refer to left or right, it is the left or right side when facing in the direction of travel. So, you need to position the window frame, the window pane, sorry, 55C in the opening in the rear entrance wall, 54A. And then position the left inner rear wall, 55B, as indicated, so the window pane is held in place. Uh, then we need to fix that in place using MP screws. Two cream at the top, four grey in the middle, and two red at the bottom. So that's going to be held in really well then. It does say note that the cable K does not fit between these two panels at the side. See step four. Do not over tighten the MP screws. Right, should we have a look at that stage four then? Ah, yeah, now that makes sense now. So if you can just sort of give it, you see there that along the top, you can't see the wire. And then suddenly it just appears out of nowhere and it just hangs down the side. Yeah. And then it's, there it is at the bottom. So it's obviously going to sit underneath the panel. Yeah. So that's fine. I can, yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. So, um, so yeah. Sometimes, you know, as you've all discovered, anyway, sometimes you just want to have a little look ahead at the instructions. Um, right. So while you were describing that, I did a quick. I mean, I haven't taken this out, but I did a quick dry fit, 
and I can see that it's going to fit in that way. I'm not going to test it any other way because it looks like that's going to fit. So obviously we want to handle this as little as we can. Um, or if you must handle it, use a cloth or something. But always definitely handle it at the edges. And you shouldn't need to polish it. Right, that's the way I did the dry fit. And in fact, I am actually going to have to press it in. So I'll just get a bit of toilet paper. Kitchen roll is always better. But my kit my toilet paper is closer than my kitchen roll. So that's in place. You probably can't see it because it's clear. Oh, you can see it. So that's in place. Oh, I've just moved it. So I'm guessing the panel will hold that in. Yeah. yeah. And it's being held in with six screws, so it's it's not short of um things to hold it in. Oh look at that. That's really nice. So what I'm gonna do, it's told us to use two cream and there's four holes. So which holes are we right? So we're gonna be fitting in that hole and that hole but not these two and then we've got four gray mps and then we've got two red mps at the bottom so i'm going to fit the gray ones first okay unless um, someone thinks. yeah and before you do that i've just noticed that on uh step four it actually shows that cable from the switch just going through that little recess in that cream part right do you want to bring that up and explain what you mean Yep, here, just here. Um, you see the cable comes out of that recess part, just in that cream there. Ah, got and you, right. You've got your sort of dangling down a bit. Right, okay, now I understand what you're saying now. So what you're saying, oh, I can see now, yes. So if we just lift that wire up a bit. There we go. And once we get that wire up, this panel actually falls down a little bit further. As you see there, that there's no gap there. Whereas yeah. when the when the cable was there, there was a gap. So let's have a look at how much clearance we've got on this wire. So it, it is there is excess there. So if we need, we don't know how we're going to have to move that around. Um, I suspect it's got to come back. And then there'll be a wall come out maybe there. I don't know. So, um, but that panel is not quite going in. It's not in at the top. And be careful when you're testing this because I've accidentally put pressure on this a couple of times. So, not not sure if i'm happy with this okay let's see how it goes with the screws it might pull it all in once we've got the screws and i'm using j000 i mean the only thing i can think of is but behind that cream panel there's a there's a channel isn't there for the wire yeah. to fit through possibly the wire's not quite sitting in there or it's moved okay let's have a look then Ah, uh, yes. Good spot there, Horlix. Yeah. So make sure. Uh, also, this bit is raised there where the switch is. But I still think that once you start putting those screws in, it will kind of pull it all in. Yeah, it's mainly where the switch is. So it doesn't feel quite right. But it's it's flush everywhere. Let's pop the screws in and see what happens. So that's oh, okay. in just enough to bite. You know me, I just like to put them in just enough to grip, or as I like to call it, bite. And uh, be careful with that handle. Um, unfortunately, uh, we can. So it might even be worth considering not fitting that handle until after you've done that window. You could certainly get away with that. And that save you catching it. Obviously, if you've already fitted that handle, um, I would say leave it in and try not to, to 
to break it, but just be aware of where it is. I still can't get over how they they're actually using different coloured screws. Yeah, it's, it's making it much... well. In all fairness, they have been using colour screws right from the beginning, haven't they? Well, yeah, um, that's what I mean. I don't know any other part where I like it. No, but I mean, we used those. Um, I think for you, they kind of fell through, didn't they? Those little tiny screws. Yeah, the on, the on the bonnet. Yeah. I had to glue them all in. It was either that or get a replacement, and for the sake of. A tiny yeah through. you know it's only it's only detail it's not like it's securing anything like heavy or anything it's just to, to get the detail on so i decided to glue them right i'm happy with that i haven't put those screws in fully and i'm not going to until i've got all of the screws in so i'll move up now and do the cream screws <coughs> so we're doing the upper and the right screw Oh, I'm not sure if I put that in the right angle. It seems to be wobbling slightly. So, Ooh, I scratch my nail varnish. Chris Campion said, "Make sure uh, we don't pinch the wire." Um, yeah, and said you didn't test the wire. But no, I'm, we'll do that I'm afterwards. Actually, yeah, I thought I'll test it later on because fiddling with these switches. Is uh, but obviously it might might have been a better idea to test them right at the beginning. Um, I like to test. Um, I like to test the any electrics after I fitted them because if we test them before we fit them and then we damage them as we're fitting them, we may not know if we don't we don't test them. So um, or maybe we should just be testing them twice before and after. Uh, right, so I'll put the red ones in next. Okay, so I'm happy that they've all bitten. I'm happy with the fit. I think I've just caught this a little bit, but no, that's okay actually. So that's still in. So that switch works fine. As you can see, I can now press that because that's being held in. So what I'll do now is I'll proceed ahead and I will tighten these screws. And because we're screwing into plastic, just kind of establish the resistance. And then once that resistance increases, it's time to stop. Oops. It doesn't need to be in the tightest ever. It just needs to be in and flush and not going to fall out. So that's the grey ones. Green one in next. Just be careful. In fact, actually, listen, guys, I'm going to take that screw out and I'm going to replace it. What I've done is I've actually slipped a little bit. Oh, I'll just take the mark the paint. paint. Yeah. So, you know, we got spare screws last week. We've got spare screws this week. So, but obviously, I don't want to muck up twice, don't I? Do I? Um, fact actually i'm going to just try and see if joo works because it might just be i'm using the wrong uh, screw bit no i don't like that one i think that is the best screw bit so it's a little bit awkward but we're just going to have to be really careful one slip and we're going to take that paint off oh one well, yeah, I just noticed this. I think we both noticed that together. <laughs> Interestingly enough, that screw didn't feel like it wanted to bite. There we go. That's, I'm happy with that. You can see the screw 
its reds, but they're not too bad. Certainly not as bad as the last one. So we'll just finish off with these red ones. If you're tied in the grey screws, make sure the pane of glass doesn't slip down. Yeah. So that one I could probably tighten a little bit more, but look, that panel is not going anywhere. That glass isn't going to fall out. And we've got do you think that'll be enough slack on that wire? Yeah, I think so. It we shows. probably we probably won't know until we've actually fitted whatever's going there. So um Oh, that was a bit of a... Do you know what? I, I, I kind of accidentally talked that up, didn't I? Um, you know, I said it doesn't look like there's that many parts, but I've said that before, and it, they've been quite complicated issues. And I can see this being quite complicated for some people. Mm. So, um, and yeah, there were a few extra parts that I thought there was. So, um, yeah, so far I'm happy with this issue in terms of workload. Um, right, so so we've kind of looked at say, oh, section four is next. Yeah. So do you want to have a look at that? Okie doke. So uh, basically, it looks like we're going to be doing the same, but on the other side. So position the right inner rear panel on the uh, other side of the rear entrance wall. Fix that in place with MP screws as indicated. Three cream ones at the top two red ones in the middle and two red ones at the bottom do not over tighten the screws right so learning from experience on the first stage we're going to make sure that these wires are all fully within that channel which this one actually isn't and it does look like these are just these these sticky bits are just holding them down until we get that panel on so actually i've stuck this wire up upright maybe i should have tried to stick it down a bit more flat so i'll see if i can just rotate that a little bit okay that's better so and one thing i did notice i didn't know i've noticed it now see there's a little tab at the top and you'll see better on this one. And that actually lines up at the top. You've got the little runner there, and it stops almost at the top. And that tells you where that's going to go. There's other places to line it up as well. Um, but that works quite well. And I would say that that's not in right. Because there's a lump there. It's a big it's lump there. there. It's, it's actually the switch. This is where the wires are there. So it's causing a bit of a problem. But I think I've just kind of squished that down a little bit. So that's fine. So the screws that we're using, we're obviously not going to use any grey ones because there's no screw holes. So I'm going to guess two, two red and two gold. Three cream and four red. Right, three cream, four red. Right, and we should have three creams, ones left, which we have got, because I've used one of the spares. So I'll... So I wonder why we're not... We must be putting something there. So... I mean, if you do strip the paint off this um, screw, you can always put a dab of paint on. And I'm pretty sure with the amount of paint I've got, I could probably find something that's a close match. That looks kind of a, a, a an ivory with a tiny touch of yellow in it. <coughs> sort of a bone colour to me. Right. So I'm just going to put the two in to start with. And then did we say four red? Yeah, <clears throat> two in the middle and two at the bottom. 
Right. So I'll do the bottom ones. Now I'll do the top top red. Because that'll kind of push that that switch into place a bit more. I might have. Oh, hang on. I think the wire. No, no. I thought my wire would come out of the channel, but it's. It seems to be fine. So I'll do this next red one. That'll help keep that wire in the, the channel. So keep pressing it down. Feel for any lumps. That will. If you feel a lump, it might well be that something's not quite right. I'm actually going to put this one in fully. So I want to hold that wire down. So that's looking good to me. There we go. And then I'll put that final cream one in. Oh, my phone has just had about a million Facebook messages come through. Right, so we'll have a check. I can feel the lump under there, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's not as bad as before. So we'll tighten all of the screws up. And I'm just basically going to keep tightening until the resistance increases. Because I don't, this is plastic, so I don't want to crack it. If you keep tightening, because the screws are metal, it, the, the plastic will crack before the screws break. Oh, that one don't want to stop, so I've just decided I'm going to stop on that one. There we go, and that's the one I did tight. And... There we go. Okay, I think I'm done on that one then. <clears throat> yeah, that looks good. I'm rather happy with that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on him there, can't we? So, ah. is it ah, well, that was loud. Sorry, <laughs> that was excitingly loud. Oh, we've still got more to do. Whoa, Whoa. Step five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, right. I'm ex look, this, look, at least now you know, guys. When I say I genuinely have no idea what we're going to be doing, you now know I mean it because I thought that was the end of the week's build. But I've just realised we're about halfway through. Okay, so next, uh, you need to fix the inner bell pushes firmly in place. So basically, we're going, yeah, we're going to be securing those switches really firmly in now um, by adding further DP screws. So we need two oh. red ones on the right inner panel and two cream DP screws right, that's on the why left we did. inner panel. That's why we didn't put the screws in there. Because Just now we're going to put the screws in. DC right. So in let's thicker, have, aren't they? Yeah. So let's have a look at these. I'm just going to get two of each out ready. I suspect that we'll probably go back to our faithful JOO. Might be a case of J.O. Yeah, I like that. J.O. it is. Right, so should we do pick a colour, red or cream? Which one should we do first? Um, let's do red. 
That's too red. I'm glad you said that because I've already got it loaded up. I know, I saw. That's why I said it. Ah, uh, <laughs> you, you naughty little minx. I don't know why I keep saying that lately. You naughty little minx. Do you know what? This, you uh, this makes a lot of sense now. Those screws, they, they are actually going to fit the... Um, yeah, they're going right where the switches are. Yeah, okay. Clever. Simple but clever. Sorry, Richard, did you say something? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I said that I've never heard Penny say that before. Oh, right. Oh, I, I, <laughs> right, I, went, I, love I wondered then whether this PC had a microphone because nobody said anything. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I've never heard you say that before either. Actually. No, I write it in forms a lot. Um, Paul was a bit naughty the other week, and I said, "Have you been a naughty little minx?" And it just it kind of just keeps going from there. Right. I don't think that bell press is going anywhere with those screws there. I'll be honest with you. I don't think that bell press is going anywhere without the screws. But it, we're just going to add that little bit extra with them. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, um, I mean, it's going to have to take years of people bashing the buttons and... Oh, well, I'm sure there's people out there that could break it in 10 minutes. School anybody kids, grandchildren? Ringland kids, yeah. Oh, yeah, we know all of our school kids. Hey, they're, po they're posh in Ringland, <laughs> and I can prove it. No, I saw a man walking his dog, and the dog pooped on the pavement. And the man picked the poop up with a bag for life. And I thought, now, there's someone who's wealthy. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe he just takes the bag home and washes it out. Oh, 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 yeah, he <laughs> puts it to the washing machine. Right. I've accidentally touched this glass. Oh, I no. didn't mean to. I just needed, I know. I just needed the leverage. So, um, Nah, the school kids down there are all for this. Make, they make bonfires on the back seats of the bus. Oh, do you know what? I've had that happen on my bus before. Someone was was trying to set light to the seats with a match, and I grabbed the fire extinguisher, and I just used the entire, emptied the entire contents of the fire extinguisher all over him. <laughs> oh, that I'd love to Oops, see. I missed the fire, and I got it all over you. Was it the white foam or the white powder? It's the foam. The, mm. the powder would have been better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's, he's got to go home and explain that to his mum. And you know full well, the kids that act all tough on the on the bus, they're all little weedy ones when they get their, when their mum gets hold of them, aren't they? Hmm. I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry, mum. Oh, please don't hit me. Okay, are we happy with that stage? Yeah, that's yep. good. Right, would now so, be a good time to test these before we fix any more of this? We could test it if you wanted to test it, yeah. Okay, so I've kind of sort of got my Arduino set up here. So what I'm going to do is I have a bulb which I'm going to fix. A diode. And... and Diode, diode, yes. A diode. Diode LED, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to use my variable power source because I can. But I can't put this diode in because it won't go in. Okay, that's what happens when you push it too hard. So, right, pick a color, guys. Blue. blue. Blue, yeah. I was going to say blue. blue I like is. blue. Red right, used to be so... my favourite colour, but it's, it's changed to blue now. Since like, being more an adult, I've just liked blue better. It's weird, isn't it? No, not really. I used to like pink, and then I decided pink doesn't like me, so I changed my mind and went to purple. I think this is a stronger resistor. So... So I've just got a very simple setup. Um, I want another jumper wire. Have I got any? Yes, I have. 
So all I've got here is, um, yeah, this is, sorry, this is just to test the wire that the bulb actually works. Because if it, if we don't get a result, we're going to get, we're, you know, we might be going, oh, the switches don't work. When in fact, actually, it's the, um, the LED that's broken. So there we go. So we've got a blue light there, so we know it works. So what we now want to do is we want to interrupt that power. I think I have to do this now. I want more jumper wires. There's another one. Um, you can tell I'm really well prepared, can't you? I was slightly impressed to start with because when you pulled that breadboard out, I thought it was already set up. No, here's no. one I made earlier. Don't be, don't be silly. Right, so let's call a blue penny. Blue penny, yeah. Right, so that wants to go directly into the. I have done this before, so that they they go in. Oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Okay. There we go. Right, so if we then put that, I mean, there might be the wrong way around here. Do you know what? I don't think this is going to happen, is it? I'll set this up wrong anyway. So we want the positive to go into the switch. Then we want it to come out. And go into the resistor, which then goes from resistor to bulb, and then negative back into the power supply. So, as predicted, we have no no light because we haven't pressed the switch. So, if we press the switch, nothing happens. So. Maybe we've got these the wrong way around. I don't know. I shouldn't. I don't think it matters to the switch. <clears throat> I suspect those pins aren't going in that plug enough, perhaps. Don't know. So hang on. Short those two orange wires. Yeah. So it's either the switch is faulty or they're not, it's not making a good contact. Right, let's um let's make the contact there, shall we? Because that's a really good contact. Right. Yay. And the other switch. There we go. Don't know if you can see that, okay. So we know that the switches to there works. We don't know if this works. But I suspect it does because saying that. See, we really need some little tiny connectors. Yeah. But I haven't got any, so. Maybe we should get like a sort of female plug with two. You could, I think we should maybe invest in a female plug for those sort of, sort of plugs. Yeah. And then you'll have the bare wires coming out. There you go. That works. There you go. 100% successful test there. So maybe next time when I select a colour, you'll select something that shows up a little bit better on the stream. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks all right. Okay. So safety first. We'll turn off the variable power supply. And I know that everyone... Um, right, 401, 402, 403. I actually drove 403 today and I used it on a school bus, but I didn't mind on that one because if there's any of the kids uh, who live in Malpas watching, 
you are one of my favorite school buses because you're actually the majority of you are actually quite polite and respectful so there you go i've put that out there <coughs> um yeah we should have a test board really um an ode to die i like that um how big was the poo penny good question um i don't think it was that big i think it just came out of an average size large dog <laughs> Tell me. right yeah okay so i'm happy that these switches work so shall we proceed yeah let's do that so now you need to fit the assembled rear entrance wall 54a uh in place at the rear of the passenger compartment at the same time, thread the cable K through the hole in part 50 uh, near the oh. bench seat. The so we're, we're, just, we're just fitting here. We're not actually screwing. Yeah, we're fitting. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, and it just says the inset shows the view from the outside as well. Okay, so I've um, just moved the camera up, which means I'm showing off more of my messy desk. And... Get ready to go wow, everybody who hasn't seen this. This is our seats. So this is the lower deck of the bus. So we will... I'm going to have to work sideways on here because of restricted space. But um, So it looks like what we're doing is... I'm going to have to get my magazine and have a look. Right, so that's going to go on to there, something like that. Ah, I can see the hole now. So I don't know if you can see that there. That's where this wire is going to go, like so. Does that sound right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so obviously 14 hands is an advantage with this build. And a chin. Use your chin. Chin works. Right, okay. I've not quite got enough hands there. And there's another seven. It's just maneuvering this bit around. There we go. So pop that in first. Right. So is that wire going inside or outside? This one here. Um, I would it, guess outside. Yeah, it doesn't really show, does it? Let me... Right. Have a look forwards and see if I can see any clues. Ah, right. Yeah, if you look at this step eight, um, I mean, this is too far ahead, but we can see where the wire will be going. It is yeah. on the outside. It will, because obviously there's going to be something going over this, and that will go. So if that goes like that, whatever goes over there will conceal that wire. Right, okay. I'm having a little bit of a struggle because I can't see exactly where to place this is this um, too high is it too low also i've just noticed something else without why i think it goes there because if you look you've got two screw holes there and i think that lines up with these two well that's fine and that the wire at the bottom will that reach over the brown ah. part it actually on the outside right it actually goes underneath the bus can you see it's underneath and you won't see it yeah so right okay that's making sense now right there's the problem it's just there i've not pushed that in we pull that across 
there we go that was that was where i was struggling so as a dry fit i would say that that's fine like that so i would call that stage seven complete okay. with this wire coming out there and i'm going to guess it's there's going to be something there to do with wires ah maybe there'll be lights going up for the top deck mm. okay possible yeah, possibly. Well, we are actually on step seven now. Yeah, um, no, that was step seven. Oh, yeah, we are step seven. Yeah. Right. So now we're going to, uh, working from the outside, fix the edge of the rear entrance wall, 54A, in place using two JP screws. The inset right shows the wall in place with the G JP screws circled in light blue. So this is the side with the wire poking out. Yeah. And that's going to be here. So we really need to make sure they are properly lined up. So what I would suggest is we have a little look and we have a little poke. Ah, there it is. There. So you might need to manipulate this a little bit because it was actually more like, well, it was a little bit too far down. But now I found a spot. It's kind of fallen into place and kind of semi-locked. Like that. So you all need to have a little bit of a... Well, I've needed to have a little bit of a wiggle. So, and I've just knocked me all here over for the about a millionth time. Oh, we really need to sort that out, don't we? Yeah. Um, now I've lost my screwdriver. Here it is. You know me, I put things down. So it's a JP screw. So, and we're using black ones. Oh, yeah. these are the heavy duty ones we just got, aren't they? So, uh, it's quite comfortable with a JO head. So, what I'm going to do is this is the easy hole to find. But I just need to push it. You probably can't see what I can see, but you can kind of see where the screw hole is. So I'm just going to pop this one in first. And that's in just enough to bite. And it's only took about half a screw to get it to bite. So I'm happy with that. And then this one looks like it's in place. But you'll soon know if it's not in place. Because you know what screwing into thin air feels like. Right, okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to tighten them up. I do apologise, I'm uh, I'm kind of blocking the camera. And I can feel that pulling that wall into place. But what I might suggest doing is screw, screw a little couple of screws each side. And then... That's not quite as easy as it looks for some reason. Mind you, I am trying to sort of play to the camera, aren't I? Which does make it slightly more difficult. Right, so you can see that that's, that's firm on that side, which is it's actually pulled this side off. So we'll need to be doing some reworking. Yeah. But other than that, that's actually rather solid. So I'm not I'm not going to bother with those screws anymore. I'm happy with those. So um, right. Okay. So, so step eight uh, on the left hand side um, of the rear wall entrance wall. Make sure the cable is on the outside of part fifty A. So we did that earlier. It's pretty much what we sort of looked at, wasn't it? Yeah. right okay um, and then arrange the cable around the screw sockets as shown so in front of the larger sockets circled in light blue and behind the smaller socket and then obviously the wire comes all the way down to the bottom underneath the base of the floor and then right <clears throat> okay so we've got our fixing points here there and there so what i'm going to do perhaps use some tweezers and just lift that up 
and I'll just pop those tweezers in there. That'll just keep that up. So we've got a fixing point lined up there and another one lined up there. I'm just going to run my tweezers along a bit and that'll pull that out. Of course, the problem now, I've got these lined up, but I've not got my screws ready. So as soon as I let go, these wires will probably come out again. But ah, there we go. I'll tell you what. Oh. Was anybody thinking of masking tape? No. Let's pop a little bit of masking tape there. That'll enable me just to let go while I get the screws ready. So, so one JP. I mean, he's probably gone a bit overboard with the masking tape there, but. Right, so one JP in there. Okay, hang on. It's so you need to make sure the wire is on the other side of that first. Well, on this side. Yeah, it's got to be on the ins. Yeah. This is why I I just put them in enough to bite. I'm not going to use those tweezers because they're quite pointy. So. So you mean like that? Yeah, that's it. Right, okay. So that is that's in enough to bite. So now I can take the masking tape off. So you're gonna want the same of this, aren't you? Yeah, and then that wire in the middle, the other side. What like that? No. No, the other way. On the inside. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. In out, in out, shake it all about. Right, so this one is going to go in just enough to bite. Mm -hmm. And then that will just give me the opportunity just to check my wires. So it's the wire has come out through the channel there. It's gone down the side, out, in, out, around that corner. And then it goes straight across the bottom. So now I can see why we wanted nine millimeters. Because nine millimeters is about the halfway point between there and the bottom. Going to go straight across, and then it disappears up through a channel. And we know that one bit is going to go across into the switch there, and the other side is coming out there. So, are we happy with that? Yeah, that's good. If so, I will tighten these up fully. We'll screw in. Yeah. And Chris is admiring the size of your tweezers. Oh, what, these ones? These yeah. are actually basing tweezers because they've got a little shovel on the end. They so what? You can, you, right, when you're doing, like, basing and you want to put grass down, you can actually shovel up the grass and then sprinkle it over. And then any bushes or anything, you can just use these. But I use them for everything. Sorry if you can't see this, but I'm sure you know what a screw action looks like. I know that came out wrong. Mm -hmm. I tried to pause and correct it, but just couldn't think of a correction, so I just went with it. Right, yeah. okay, so I am happy with that. So I'm finding that they are... Most of this is just checking and double-checking. There's nothing complicated about screwing and placing. But you just need to make sure everything is where you want it to be. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. So section. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the finished view. Oh, well, that only took us an hour and a half. It's surprising, isn't it? Because it, you know, yeah. the amount of parts that we got, you wouldn't think it was, you know quite a lot to do but obviously we're now bringing in stuff from before and fixing things into place yeah. and what's that what a build tiddy so we still have this gap here we still have this gap here it's worse here there's a little bit of strength there but here it's, it's quite weak but we know that this is going to get sorted out once we get the side panels on um 
so I'm happy with what we've got. Um, I think that was quite a satisfying build, actually, this week. Did that any, was anyone disappointed with it? So oh. that leaves us with next week's build. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the thing? Where's, uh... Where's your thing? Has anybody seen Horlicks's thing? No. So we are starting work on the ceiling of the lower deck. So that means we must have finished everything there is to finish in the bottom deck. Yeah. So this might be an opportunity if you've got anybody that we're going to fit on the lower deck that we probably want to fit them now because once we start getting this roof on, there is room at, well, there won't be actually. Um, obviously, I can get my hand in. But once you've got the back of the bus there, to get your hand in, you're not really going to get it in any further than that. And I've not got massive hands. That's really interesting thought, though, isn't it? Because there's supposed to be quite a few more figures coming, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah. So how are we going to work that? I don't know. Maybe we're not going to put all of the roof on yet. I, I don't know. I don't do you know. think? Well, do you think speculation that the magazines at a later stage will instruct us on how to put them in, or not? Well, as you said that, I just realised something. I said that we've got everything in the lower deck that we need to put in, but look, we've got the rails that we haven't put in so unless they're going let's let's see the picture of of the next week i mean it's not going to show us an awful lot but i mean it's only part of the roof yeah. do you know what i i think that's going to go at the front of the bus and then we can fit things like the rails in from there then we'll perhaps do the middle and then we'll do the rear so we yeah. might actually be putting figures. Do you think we might have a figure in the next eight weeks? Oh, possibly. And actually, Fighter Suite, you ruined it. Um, I, I've ruined it. No, no, Fighter Suite. He he said, "Do you think Harshet would give us some posters for the inside?" And at the very, very well, beginning of the stream, I said, "Oh, I've got speculation." And I'm wondering oh, if they are, yeah, because when you showed that part right at the beginning, I could see like a poster frame and I don't suspect they will, but I wonder if they will. Give oh, yes. Yes. There. Yes. Well, um, they do give us a poster every week. Uh, I, I don't really want to show off the butt magazines because, um, but look, every single week, if you go to the back page and open it, you get a, a poster. So what I'm actually planning on doing, I, I was going to do this a couple of weeks ago. I was going to put these into the into my scanner and then I was going to reduce them down to, I, I can't remember what the figure is, but I'm going to reduce that down using Photoshop uh, to one twelfth scale. And then I can make them available on, on the Facebook group. And then people can can stick them in the bus. Mm. That's basically what they're for, aren't they? Is you've got recruitment posters for conductors, you've got uh, day trips, you've got adverts for the underground, all sorts. Yeah, and as Fleetwood Jay just said, um, he's going to add a poster like he did on the other two. So yeah, if we don't get a poster, no big issue. We've got Fleetwood Jay on the case. No, big, big issue wasn't available in those days. It's quite a new magazine. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. So, um, right, so we're going to be doing part of the uh, ceiling. Now, I can see two little bits going across there. Yeah. So it's not, it's going to be more than one piece of plastic there, isn't it? Yeah, I think that might be. Yeah, that's obviously going to be the the ceiling rails, isn't it, that you can grip yeah. onto if you're standing passengers. So um, it, might, it might be a shorter build, but it'll be there'll be something to do. It's difficult. We can never tell by these pictures, can we? They might have just shortened that image for the picture purpose. Maybe we will get yeah. a whole roof. 
Um, so I'm just going to address a comment. Carol Webster said, can anyone tell me if where the number 11 on the front panel has a light on it on the real bus? Um, I don't know about bus regulations back in the 60s and 70s, but I know that modern regulations, that the light has to be visible at night. Or in other words, it has to be illuminated. Um, I assume that would be the case back then, um, because this is kind of the first of the modern bus era, isn't it? Um, although obviously by today's standards, it's an old bus, but it's a modern bus, really modern bus. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of the beginning of the modern bus. Does that make sense? Mm. Uh, but Chris Campling is suggesting shoving through the passengers through the window. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a good idea, Chris. I don't no. want a swinging 60s woman wedged in through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got visions of her feet sticking out yeah. the window as it's driving along. I suppose we could get some servos and make her feet move. Like... Oh. <laughs> We could, oh. yeah, we could make them swing back and forward like like she's trying to get out the window. Yeah, do you know what? Animatronics. Me on this while. So, um, we have been neglecting somebody. <sighs> oh, poor old Richard. What did you think of that? Well, firstly, um, less of the old. But yeah, it was all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Sorry, I keep forgetting, yeah. Um, Richard doesn't like to be called old. No, no. I'm uh, only 24, I told you. Yeah, yeah. He just, he, well, you can see, he's 24, but you can see how tough it is on the Cardiff route. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, now, I, when Horlick start, started with this um, this show, he, um, he didn't actually build it. Um, but we managed to persuade him. Well, we didn't really persuade him to buy it. He just enjoyed it so much that he decided to start buying it. Do you think you could go the same way? Well, me? Yeah. Um, I don't you know. I think I might. I think you I might. might. That's, might, that's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, see, we should get a kickback from Harshet, really. Harshet and Aurea should be giving us a kickback. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Definitely. so Stuart Sullivan is mentioning the pull cord for the bell. Um, so yeah, no, a right. Pull so, pull cord, yeah, that's how they did the call bells in those systems. You just you have a rope going across the top and then you just pull it. Wasn't that the emergency stop? Mind you, we've got no. the buttons now, haven't we? We've got the bell pushes. Well, the thing is, it's it's ingeniously simple. Because it means you only need one mechanism for the bell. And because it's one big rope, wherever you pull it along the rope, it's going to pull that one mechanism. Modern buses now have them on the rails that go up and down. Mm. Um, so you need sort of 10 or 20 different bell presses. But having a cord across the ceiling, you've just got one bell. And, and wherever you pull it, it'll, it'll activate it. And then obviously one for upstairs. How ingeniously simple is that? So yeah. I, I think that... Oops, sorry, I'm doing a crackling. I think that they've... They're going from the route master to modern buttons. I think they've overcomplicated things for the sake of overcomplicating it. You know, what... Why, why have 20 bells when you only need one? Um, yeah, right. I think when it yeah. comes to the like, people like Danny Smith, you're going to have to have push bells, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Right. We have a, yeah, we have a, 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 a driver at work. He's yeah. very small. Although like now, inches, he's, he? yeah, he's now um, the third smallest, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, we have a driver that we kind of a bit of banter and, um, um, yeah, we, we kind of we small, and then we had a smaller driver, so obviously he got a lot of banter at work. Um, but he only he was only the smallest driver for about a month, wasn't he? And then someone else has started, yeah, so, yeah, 
I I reckon it won't be long before our bus company will have drivers and that will be actual size. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got one young lad. He looks like a school kid. And we when we do school buses, we want to give him a school tie so to see, to see if the headmaster tells him off for, for jumping in the bus. So um, that could be fun. So, big important announcement. Um, we obviously everybody who's already part of the group um, already knows. Sorry, I've just got to just close some of these tabs down. Um, I will be posting links, but we have started a new Facebook. Oh, hang on, how did I end up? Sorry, my my computer's obviously been doing strange things. Right. Um, we have, oh, I can't, uh, I can't control my screen, sorry. So we have begun a new Facebook group. Um, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, okay. So we have started this group. Um, the reason we've started this group is... I don't want to get into too much detail. I don't want to talk bad about the other group. Um, but we have, um, we, we weren't happy. We weren't a hundred percent happy with the way things were being run. We felt we could, we could use a little bit more flexibility. Um, people should be able to post whatever they want, as long as it's related to the Facebook. Um, so, we have started this group. So I am now actively going to be promoting this group instead of the old group. Um, send me an invite. Yes, will do. Um, if someone could do me a massive favor and post a link for me uh, in, in, in the chat. The reason being is obviously I'm using two computers. I can do that uh, now. That would be brilliant. Um, so, yeah, we, we're going to be promoting this group. Um, basically, like, I'll, I'll run through some of the posts. Um, so, Paul Wright has he's posted pictures of his build. So, obviously, he's happy there. Um, we've got Michael Anderson making a post there. Um, so, he's happy because he's got his latest issues. Um, Chris Davies, you've made a post. Um, he's built up to issue 49. Um, obviously, there's me advertising the stream for tonight. Um, there's the link in there now. Lovely, perfect. Um, I see Ian has done the LED uh, conversion. Um, so, yeah, he's had a go at the um, at the mod. So that looks really good, actually. Um, if you want to post videos in here, you can. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. If your videos aren't, I mean, the, the, right? Oh, we've got we've got one. Well, we've, well I'll, I'll accept that a little bit later on, Steve. Um, that we've got people selling in this group. Um, if anyone's got any modifications, you put them in there. Uh, Richard, that's Fleetwood J, isn't it? He's, oh, he's come up with some really good um, tickets. Um, the other one that I'm going to be promoting, and I'm not going to promote it this week because I can't remember the link. That's me being honest. Um, but some of you might know him already. World of Wayne has a forum. And in this forum, he has every single part work. Um, and you can you just go into the relevant section. Um, so obviously, if you want the fast pace of a for, of a Facebook group, um, obviously we have that group now posted. Um, and if you want the convenience of a of a forum, I'm thoroughly recommending World of Wide. Like I say, I'm not going to be bad mouthing um, any other groups. Um, the, the more the merrier. And if anybody wants to come into this group and advertise their legitimate uh, modifications that's absolutely fine and another thing and we didn't we didn't deliberately make it this way but it's come out like this we have quite a lot of admins in the group 
And one of the reasons I think that that's a bit, bit of an advantage, um, say, for example, I got a little bit power hungry um, being an admin. I've now got three other admins that can kick me back in, into touch. So I, I think that that's a bit of an advantage there. Oh, look, see you wearing glass. I didn't know you wore glasses. Or did I, I do it some, only do it sometimes. Like My eyes started to hurt a bit. Yeah, like for the computer. I don't, I should, yeah. I'm supposed to wear them, but I never do. Sorry, guys. That was a bit of a revelation for me. I didn't know he wore They, they look nice. Do I, do I look like Alan Carr? No. Uh, not really. Not that I've got anything against him. I love him to bits. I think he's so funny. I've actually met him. Chris Campbell has very kindly uh, put a link to the World of Wayne groups in. So I would definitely recommend World of Wayne. It's a nice little community. Um, also, he's got a section for 3D printing and he's got a section for Arduino. Um, so if you were there for the artworks, but you just want to have a look at the Arduino, for example, that's a really good place. And again, World of Wayne has the same politics as us. So long as you're not, you're not, being nasty to other people and your post is related to that subject, it is welcome. So, um, yeah, we've got a bit of success there. Um, Steve Graham has asked Horlicks, how was Benidorm? Oh, do you know what? It was absolutely fantastic. I've not laughed so hard in about two, three years. It was, it was an absolutely fantastic night. I've uh, got to admit, Benidorm isn't my thing, but looking at the pictures you posted, it looks like you had a really good time. Yeah, it was. It was all the cast were there. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Really good fun, and we're actually thinking about going again. Um, we've missed it now in Brighton, um, but it's going to be in Canterbury uh, in April. So yep. we're thinking we might um, go back and see it in April in Canterbury. It was that good. Really enjoyed it. Really good night. Full of fun. And yeah. Sorry, I'm just uh, typing a message. Uh, I'm just addressing a comment with a comment. Um, so, Stuart Sullivan, nosy as ever, is asking what you're playing with. I've got a feeling it might have something to do with the Facebook group. Because I know you um... like to ball with the admin uh, with the applications don't you yeah no i might have i was trying to copy the link and yeah i think that was all i was doing yeah uh, another thing we do uh, some people don't have a problem with this some do um you don't have to wait for posts to be approved on on this facebook group if you break any rules then obviously it will be removed um but we um yeah, I, I'm, I'm personally not a fan of um, waiting for your post to be approved. So, um, no. Yeah, Chris, yeah, tomorrow would be perfect. Um, so, um, I've not heard from Dave Say or Christine. Um, they would be, they're the other two admins on it. I hope they don't mind me. Um, what we're also looking at doing, um, this is my job to do. Um, oh, I give myself too much work to do. Um, we're looking at scanning the instructions from the from the root master and then making them available in the files. Um, we're not just going to go straight in and do it because there may be a copyright issue there. So I'm actually going to be contacting Harshet to make sure they're all right with it. We will not be putting the articles in. Um, we, we feel that that would work because... You can't do anything with the instructions unless you've actually bought the magazine and got the parts. But um, yeah, um, the the requests are coming in a little bit thick and fast at the moment, so we will we may be a little bit slower to uh, to accept them. Um, obviously, because I'm doing the stream at the moment. Um, yeah, I've done mine. Oh, that's you've all, done it. Brilliant. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm working through them now. So Brilliant. Richard Craig Langley, you, you're yeah, Richard, you're done, and Steve, you're yeah, there you go. That's that's great because we've got just like the stream, we've got we've now got people who aren't building it but would be interested in it. I mean you can you'll see if it's been so active, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, you didn't miss a lot, you just missed the back end of the bus being built, but nothing much, nothing major. 
Um, so I'm going to give an apology to Adrian. It looks like I'm not going to have time to do some painting. Um, Adrian, we struck a little deal with Adrian. Um, I don't know if you remember a while back, but I was going to be painting the handbrake. Um, and I started to paint it black. And I personally felt I made a bit of a mistake. Um, I'm not happy with it black, but Adrian wants it wants his black with uh, silver bits. So I'm going to paint this one the way that Adrian wants it, send it to him, and then he's going to send me his handbrake. So that will then be two happy people. Mm -hmm. um, so from a while back, or is, no, Sol, this is a brand new group. We had a group before. Um, we We disagreed with the way that the first Facebook group was run. Um, and I dared to disagree with one of the admins, so he kicked me off every single um, single group that he runs. And so we set it was I think it was me and Michael Anderson who actually set the group up. So we set a group up, but then Corey and Chloe set this root master group up, and we thought that that was going in a better direction and it was bigger. So we encouraged all of our members to join that group, and then we shut down the group. I couldn't see the, I couldn't run the group better, but like I said, I, I don't want to go into too much politics. I, I'm not there to sort of talk down about other groups, but like I say, we're not totally happy with. I mean, the Terminator group, you're not allowed. Well, you're not allowed to post videos at all in the Rootmaster group, and the Terminator group, you know, they say no video links. But other people are putting video links in, but mine are being rejected, you yeah. know, and it's... Um, yeah, and you're right. It's not fair. I mean, it needs to be one rule or none. You know, you can't have certain members po allowed to post videos no. and others not. Everyone wants to show off their builds and their, their craftsmanship and stuff. And that that's yeah. the idea of it. It's a social group. So, yeah, I, I, I don't agree with it personally. So, yeah, that's a that's good thing. Um, Horlicks, there's a comment been made by Donnie John, and that sounds like uh, a sim that sounds similar to your situation. Um, he should have received issues 35 to 38, but he's been sent 39 to 42. I think that happened with you, didn't it? Yes, it did. Um, they sent me well, quite a few in advance, didn't they? I think I missed about yeah. eight issues. Uh, yeah. And then I rang them in a panic, thinking what they're doing, what they're doing. And all it was for me um, was that they ran out of stock. So they all they did, they, they they ran out of one of the issues in the middle of one lot and one of the issues in the middle of the next lot. So they sent me the next full amount of issues they could. So it could be a case that they're just out of stock um, and you'll get them later on. Probably the best thing to do is to give Harsha a quick ring. Yeah, give them and a ring I and they'll confirm. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, um, it is annoying. I can understand, you know, you want to get building now. But there is a plus side. When you do get the other issues, you'll have double the amount to build in one go. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you tempted to do videos, Donny John? Because, um, I mean, I, I want to see lots of people building. Um, I noticed with the Terminator that there's a lot of people doing videos. Um, my, I'm, I'm going to do a shameless plug here. Friday, I have my first video coming out. And Horlicks, you haven't seen it yet. Normally, I'll show Horlicks stuff. No, I out. don't get to know anything these days. Uh, I, I've put a new idea in. I think this might be the best video I've produced to date personally i don't know um, they're all good no but the the format that i've done i've done a slightly different format and i i think it, i i like it so it's coming out friday now the problem i've got obviously you've got all the other youtubes have already been putting the videos out obviously this is going to be my issue one my issue two is going to be coming out two weeks after and I'm actually going to buy issue three from WH Smith. So I think it's due out. Was it due out today, issue three, or was it next week it's due out? Some people have got theirs today, haven't they? Oh, I've it's issue on... two. Yeah. 
issue yeah, two but was issue three is out as well because I've seen someone on the group on the on the Terminator group with issue three, and a oh, build video I... has gone up for issue three as well. Well, I I don't know the build schedule. When I started the Root Master, I was like four or five weeks behind. I wasn't I wasn't receiving pack the the pack of four until that fourth one had actually been released in the shops. Um, but then when I did, I started doing the Warhammer, and I was actually receiving the issues before they were released in the shop. So I don't know how they're going to go with um, Terminator. Um, I'd like to think that they'll we'll get them before they're out in the shops. So I can then build all four in one go and then release one video a week. But because I don't know the release schedule, I'm just going to issue one, two, and three is going to be released fortnightly. Once I know the build schedule, I'll then do them weekly. And I may do two issues in one week to do a bit of a catch up. But the last thing I want is to promise you a weekly video and then put a video out. And then you get one in two weeks. And then you get one the week after. And then you get the next one is in three weeks. Um, I, I just want some consistency. Um, obviously different people run their channels in different ways, but that's how I want to do it. Yeah. Um, so I've got, um, um, I can't really I... do anything sneak preview because that's it. And, um, it's the same as everybody else's and I've done it. I've done a live build for issue one. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm got any issue one. Isn't going to be anything different that you haven't seen. So. I know I'm wishing I've like, I subscribed to the test when it came out because yeah. I thought I might have ended up with a head. And I didn't subscribe when it actually went live, but they have sent me issues. So I yeah. actually got one and two today um, and the toolkit. Obviously, it was free of charge. Now, obviously, this won't be coming soon to my channel because I'm not doing the build. Right. But looking at this in my hands i'm like oh i want to do the build now yeah. but, but it's, the thing is, if it's sometimes it's a case if you've got to choose between the build and food yeah so, uh, so i might pick this up if it's not too late when the delorean's finished here um right so you'll be I'm behind on... Same way that you're behind on the bus. Yeah, like on the bus. I mean, I'm not too fussed on. You know, I, I don't rush to get the get the video out first. Um, no, it comes when it comes. But I mean, if I'm really honest, I just want the DeLorean to hurry up now because I've lost interest yeah. in it. Did, but, did anybody see Chris Campling's build the other day? That was complete and utter chaos. But as someone's put. Chris and the unicorn. It was just so funny. Um, yeah. But this is this is what I mean about um, different people offer different things. I've I've seen World of Wayne, which is a nice professional. I mean, they're all quite professional. Um, I've gone for uh, um, if what I what I've aimed for is if Harshet released an official build video. I think that's what it would look like. Uh, Robbie Bobby's done a good build, but you know how he's just funny as anything. Oh, he and just then, cracked me up. Yeah. Oh, I just, yeah, I, I, I think I might have just over. Well, I didn't overdo it, but I did a. He did issue two, and I put, um, I put a comment. It was something like, "You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth." And his comeback was just, um, I can't remember it now, but it's, it's just really funny. Um, and like world yeah. away, he's really stepped it up, hasn't he? With the bit with the Bismarck oh, videos, I yeah. love the fact that he's got the the real footage, and then he talks a bit about the history of it and that. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, I, I really do. Th I mean, his build. I mean, I I like to see people build like they know what they what they're talking about. This is one of the reasons why I've not done the Bismarck because I just I can't put that personal feeling into it because I have none. Um, so, um, but yeah, I mean, that's why I've done the Terminator, I'm doing the bus, and I'm I can't wait for the Land Rover to come out. Um, I just want to show you guys the, the toolkit that you get with it. Um, if this is your part, your first part work, this is absolutely amazing. Um, 
it's not really any good for me because obviously I've got I've got equipment which I've built up over the years and I've got the Terminator, uh, I've got the Aurea. Um, there is another screw. There is um, blah, 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 blah. it does say in the magazine you need uh, some of the parts. You need a screwdriver that's a certain length, which means the Aurea will be no good because you've got this bit on the end that could get in the way. Um, but for me, it's not a problem because somewhere on my desk are my Harley Dave. Oh, here we are. So I've got my my screwdrivers that I got with the Harley Davidson. Um, so I'm going to be arranging a giveaway for this, and it's going to be a nice, simple giveaway involving leaving a comment of a certain certain words in a comment. Um, so look out for that if you fancy a free screwdriver set. Um, yeah. So, um, so do any of those builds? Uh, do they tempt you, Richard? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do remember you saying something about getting something for my birthday. Obviously, yes. Yes, uh, obviously I did. Uh, 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 Kevin is saying that they don't fit the screws. That's quite interesting. Um, I've not used them. Um. Fleetwood J, I might do my YouTube videos. I have a Lego Wally and like, ah, oh, please do that. It, even if you end up making a bad video, um, one one video I talk about a lot is my Rootmaster issue one. Um, I I thought at the time it was a good video, but if you watch my latest videos and then you go back and watch issue one, you'll see how much my channel has progressed, and I'm. And that that's quite pleasing. It's it's quite a bad video by the standards that we've got. We we've evolved this. We've we've seen that what we want to do, and we've seen what you'd like to see. Um, yeah, Dave Milne. Yeah, he was talking. He's just said about the Titanic. Um, I saw the link, and that looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, and I think there's a chance to win it. I think he's put a link in one, uh, the Facebook group. Um, oh. But yeah, I think there's a way you you could get selected to win one of the models, but that seems too cheap for what I'm seeing. Yeah, one to two hundred scale isn't little, is it? It's got to be about a meter, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Right, sorry. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, first fight sweep, itch and start another part work. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I did my weekly call to Eagle Moss yesterday uh, regarding the Land Rover. That is still on its way. Um, but um, who was I was talking to? Was it Fleetwood J? Um, Jason. Whoever J, I can't, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm old. Um, so, YouTube nicknames and, and Facebook nicknames, I can't always remember. But, um, oh, are you after you take care, Chris, and you keep putting those good videos out. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, one thing I did say to, to I, th I think it was Fleetwood, um, when I used to ring Harshet up, I'd get an answer, and it'd be a reasonable answer, but then I'd ring again and I'd speak to somebody else and I'd get a different answer. Um, although some of us might be getting a bit fed up and waiting for Land Rover, every time I ring them, I speak to someone different and I get the same answer. So I'm okay there. Um, so, yeah, it's it's on its way. There's, there's a big ship coming from China with lots and lots of magazines on it, and it's somewhere between China and the UK, and, and that's all we know. Um, the other thing I want to do, I'm not, yeah, I don't really like doing personal messages to people on a group, um, but love minis. I have uh, got you your one of your 27. If you like doing tanks, I know it's not really a tank as such. Um, 
How much do the rhinos cost, love minis, if you bought them at Games Workshop? I'm pretty sure that's 20 or 30 quid. Um, and you can see the cover price, 7 99 So if you like building tank-type models, that is definitely the issue to get. You are saving so much money. Penny. Uh, Richard. Yeah, so you said about the Land Rover. Is that a new build that's coming out? Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Um, and then I will. Oh, I've got to get the keyboard now, haven't I? Ooh, this is called not being organized. Build Land Rover. So, um, basically, I've seen this and I'm like, I've got to have it. Oh, you know, I'm no good with my screens, don't you? Right, share screen. Right, so this is the Land Rover, and that is what you get. It's a one to eight scale. Oh, it's lots more money than that, is it? Um, so basically, it's the same as any part work, but you get this Land Rover with the trailer. Um, do you know what? I'm actually quite tempted to subscribe on that one. Six ninety eight. Oh, that is the cost of the first two issues. Um, mm. So you get your usual free gifts. Um, I've got to be honest with you, not a lot of exciting stuff there for me. Um, you know, you've got a free magazine. I always, I don't mind free magazines. Mm. Um, you've got a free brochure. Okay, lovely, whoopee woo. Uh, screw box. Yeah, I can buy one of those from, from Poundland. Uh, the assembly map, well, I've got two, but, you know, that's right, they're handy to have. Toolkit in case. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll use that. That's what I'm after, is that display base. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I keep getting my notifications. That's something I could do, actually. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to go for the premium. I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but you get this... Um, welding kit but to get that you've got to pay an extra pound uh, let me just like adrian langley has um has uh, posted the link to this um and obviously you get your articles you know me i'm i'm a reader of articles mm. um but yeah and, and it looks horlix is that um similar to the delorean with the colored areas Let's see if I can open that. There we go. Oh, boy, in the, the, way, the build. Yeah, the they've shaded the bit that you're using. Yeah, I've got a magazine here. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, can... uh, uh, right, yeah, they've just, in the magazine, they've just like used grey and yellow. Yeah. So that, that looks, I mean, is that, is that similar to follow? Mm, to a degree, um, if they get it right. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it's got everything labelled. I mean, it is pretty straightforward. Sometimes it can be a bit too basic. Right. But, no, it, that looks like it's got more information on those builds than, than right. this. So that looks slightly better. But, I mean, I, I really like that. And I've got a... Oh, hang on. We've got, we can, we've got one of these 3D things. We can play with it. Oh, yeah. So there's the lights. Oh, and then there's a rotating view of it. There's the rear lights there. P totty little lights, aren't they? Yeah, that's quite neat, isn't it? I think that roof is removable. And you can place the spare tyre in a variety of positions. Oh, yeah, there's um, one with the roof off there. Yeah, there you go. Soft top option. Yeah. Look on trailer. <laughs> Um, and I, I really like this. I, I really do want this. So I'm going to make damn sure I have it. Um, and I believe it's going to be 80 issues, which actually is going to be, make it one of the cheaper part works, isn't it? So, um, oh, I lost my. Oh, Michael, don't send me messages while I'm streaming. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's one that I'm really after. Uh, the Ecto one, I'm quite. Oh my god, 
you just wait for Mike to calm down. Um, right, yeah, sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, the but yeah, I, I like Land Rover, um, and I do want the Ecto one, but I really don't know where me as it stands right now. My finances won't stretch to it. Um, but who knows in a week or two, hey, Richard? Mm. Um, I've applied for a new rotor at work and um, I kind of really need it because I'm going to be earning a little bit less money in April. Um, Are you going to go on four day? No, no, no. I'm going to, if I get it, I'm going to be on the DRT, which is oh, oh, um, yeah. Yeah. six days a week. It's going to be 72 hours a week. But to be honest with you, it's pretty much how many hours I'm at work anyway. So, um, but yeah, I don't quote me on the 80 issues. I, I think that's what they said. Um, but um, I don't know. What do you think, Horlicks? Can we tempt you to do the Land Rover? Mm, mm, I'm not sure about that. It doesn't See, excite think, me. Does it not? It looks okay. beautiful. But no, I don't think. I don't know. I would do all of them if I had the money. So if but, I if I said to you, I if I get this this uh, new route at work, I'll buy you the part work as a Christmas and birthday present. You would you wouldn't be tempted at all. Yeah, I would in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I'm short of money, then no, it's you've got to be really picky, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. This is it. That's why I'm not doing the Bismarck. Trust me, I'd love I'd love to do the the, the um. I'd love to do it. And and there's a foreign part work, two foreign part works now that I want. And I'm also tempted to get the first four parts of the X-Wing um, from the American model space um, because, <coughs> excuse me, um, the model space one is 99 cents for the first pack or something like that. Really, really cheap. Um, and even taking into account the postage costs from America to Britain, still cheaper than buying the first four issues. But but then again, will our part work be different from the American part work? Well, yeah. It might change uh, things up. Sorry, asking for a link. Can you just post that link again to the Facebook? Um, I've still got the old description in this in the bottom of this video. I will be updating it. I was in a bit of a rush dinner time setting the, the stream up, so I haven't updated, but I will get that done. Um, so, is there anything that we have not covered? Obviously, that's a no. Um, Richard, if we asked you to come back again, would you be tempted to come and join us? I, 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 could, I could be tempted, yes could be tempted um, <laughs> would it require cream cakes or would you do it for free i do it for free obviously okay that's fair what are we saying sorry no i was posting the links to the facebook group no, that's all right. saying, are there any other any things that we've forgotten uh, uh no i don't think so we've talked about the facebook we've done the build which is the main thing uh, uh, Mark, you want the kit model but it's only available in ruddy france right let me post a link if i can find it um i have found this company in france um sorry about this copy Yeah, I found this company in France that do part works and they will dispatch to whatever. Obviously, you've got to pay more because you are going to be paying postage. And this is where I'm going to get the bus from. Um, oh, sorry, my computer runs really, really slowly when I'm streaming. There we go. Have a look at that link. Um, that's the company that I'm looking at to do the bus. I think it's called the mystical bus or something like that. Um, I really definitely, I would do the bar, be honest with you. I'll do the bus. If I could only afford one more part work, 
I will do the bus before I do the Land Rover and the Ecto-1. Um, but yeah, be a lot. I mean, they might do kit over here. Um, I can see certain models that they won't bring over here. I can't see them bringing the bus over to the UK because it is a French bus. Um, there was another one as well. There was a, like a, 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 a truck. And I can't see them bringing that over here because, again, that's a French truck. Um, you've got, I know in, in Russia they do, uh, is it a Lada or it's either a Lada or a Skoda. Um, and I'd like to do that build, but I can't see that one coming out of Russia because it's it's a Russian car. So um, you've obviously got to look at things. Um, the German, uh, I noticed actually on the German Harshet site, they're doing the Bismarck and they're doing the hood. So that raises the question for me, when the Bismarck is finished, will they then do the hood? So everyone's gone quiet. I'm just doing oh. a bit of admin behind the scenes, sorry. Okay. You, so, are, you are administrating the system, are you? Yeah, so I can get into the group. I've just per privately messaged him the link and he's managed to get in. Right. Um, Horlicks is going for the award of most useful admin ever on any group in the world in Facebook. Well, I've got to fit into the part. I've got the glasses. I've got the keyboard. Oh, I would do the larder. I, yeah, that Toyota GT2000. That's that you they never know that might come up. Yeah, no, I would do the larder. I think it's a great little car. I actually want the Simca as well. Um, my auntie used to have Simca, and I had another aunt, she had a Hillman Imp. And I would do oh, those. My cars. godfather had one of those. Yeah, they're brilliant though, aren't they? Yeah. The, the, thing seat I, belt, the seat belts the, were in the back. Yeah. The thing I remember <laughs> most about the Simca. My auntie used to take us to uh, a big nature reserve and take the dogs for a walk. And uh, obviously you'd have like no shirt on or something and you'd get in the car and where it's had plastic seats, they'd get so hot. Oh. You, your skin would touch the seats and it'd, peel, it'd burn all the skin off your yeah. body. Yeah, I had um, um, a part leather upholstery in, my, in one of my cars that was like that. Yeah. You had you had to put something down on it, otherwise yeah. you, you just have no skin left. Yeah. So um, Paul looks still being admin assistant there. Look, I'm being administration. Yeah, I'm just. He's got the fingers over the chin, make it look like he's thinking hard. <laughs> oh no! Now he's got the glasses on the end of his nose. Yeah. Um, now, now things are getting serious. <laughs> <laughs> All it needs now is a telephone. Hello, yes, I'll put you through. No, it's just all these. Oh no, it's all right. There's notifications coming through. I think from people trying to join the group, but oh, someone's great. beat me to it. Whether it's you or Dave, perhaps. I think, I think that's Dave or Christine because they're far more efficient than me. So, um, so um, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna say a big hello to Michael Anderson because. He's really excited because he's got his part where he's got his root master through. So um It is huge. It is. It's just yeah. And it's only gonna get better. There you go, you got none you got another uh uh um whatever it's called to do. Someone else has just applied to join. What? Uh, I'm a, I'm someone on else it. Has said, yeah, you're on it. You you're on it like oh, a bonnet. Mr. Someone's done oh. it. Well, look, if you go to um, moderate group and then click on, no, it's not moderate group. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's Christine. Christine is, oh, Christine, you are on the ball there, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> she must have the page open. Do you know what? P40F20, I am with you there. Um, he'd like to see a part work of the USS Enterprise CV6. From World War Two, that would actually I wouldn't I wouldn't have a, a problem with it either. I don't know if it, it might even be the same one, um, but the World War Two version and uh, the Vietnam War version, you know, with the uh, the Sky Raiders and 
uh, the F14, the F14 Tomcat. That's just finished in France. I really want that one. Um, There's just so much coming out, isn't there? And yeah. it's just, I say, I wish I had the, I won the lottery. I'll do all of them. Yeah, really yeah. We, we need, we we need a lottery syndicate, don't we? Yeah. If we all pay into the syndicate, and if we win millions, we'll distribute it with the condition it's only to be used for part works how's that sound good idea we'll, we... yeah we well or no it wouldn't work no no i'm sorry i was just thinking to myself but yeah it's really i mean a part work is what 35 pound a month it's not like the end of the, it's not breaking the bank is it but oh you know. a, a part work isn't 25 part works is obviously yeah. a bit yeah it's um actually talking of costs um poor old flame with a, with a fall um he his terminator videos are getting hammered by every this happens seems to happen every time a new part work comes out we had it with the root master now we're getting it with the terminator you'll get a small number of people that will this is going to be an opinionated comment and i do apologize if it comes out wrong or if you disagree you get a small minority of people that think part works are a waste of money. So they will go out of their way to spoil it for absolutely everybody. Mm. And they will be posting on the videos, telling people how it's a waste of money. And it kind of it annoys me. Um, we, I used to get a few drivers at work used to sort of comment on the cost. And, and my answer is, look, it's nine pounds a week you've got guys that go camping you've got guys that go drinking um i won't i won't mention who he is but we've got one driver he's just found out he's been booked down for two uh, two days holiday tomorrow and the day after so he's now gone and got 15 quid bottle of whiskey he's going to be drinking for the two days he's on holiday absolutely no issues with that no problems with that at all what he chooses to do with his holiday is up to him yeah. but what is he going to have to show for at the end of it you and know? you know i mean i do understand people say oh my god that's going to cost you over a thousand pounds <laughs> but it's not just that is it it's the enjoyment of the builds that's what you're paying for well, i think I, yeah i mean well. i get I get more than most because not only am I getting the builds, but I'm getting the joy of sharing it with you every two hours for two hours every week. Nothing in this world matters apart from this build. And I just get that little release and it's costing me nine pounds a week. Yeah. I think that is absolutely having two hours with you guys. That's priceless. And it's only costing me nine quid. So, you know, that's how I see it. Yeah. So I I get more out of this than any of you guys. So I'm I'm the lucky one here. Um so Penny Oh oh sorry, I am so sorry, Daniel. Right. Okay. Um last week I promised Daniel that I would show how the steps fit. And I have not fulfilled that promise. So give me two minutes. Um, if you'd have asked me this week, I would have said that I'll do it next week. But I did make a promise. So I am feeling really guilty right now. So I've got to make a space where a space. Right. I'm going to have to take my headphones off. So Horlicks, if you could sing a song or something and just keep people entertained. Okay. Um, oh, what should I do? Some juggling or no? I can't juggle. <laughs> no. What can I talk about for two? So well, mind you, she's back now. Not oh, nearly. So yeah, as I said, I've got the Terminator build anyway. I've got issues one and two here. I haven't um, opened them yet, but I've got a feeling that it's going to um, sway me to want to build it all. But I can't really do it. I can't. I can't afford to really. 
Oh, you're back. I'm sort of back. I'm just assembling the rear seats. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mark Knight. I know this song. Look, get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. I know a song. Oh, get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. My favourite. Oh, oh, hello, Richard. You're back. Yeah, my, I don't know what happened. My PC froze and then I went off, so I switched back to my phone. No, that's fine. Yeah, my favourite song is the one from Ghost. Oh, I'm Henry the Eighth. I am oh. Henry the Eighth. I. But it's just the bit. The bit that cracks me up is when he goes second verse, same as, same the, as first. the first. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. Right. So I've kind of sem assembled this bus. I am really scared because it's kind of balanced on the end of my table. But we'll uh, see what we can do. So this is. Should we go dizzy cam? I think that might be a bit easier, won't it? For those that don't know, this is my face cam, which I talk into. Hello. But when I pick it up, it becomes dizzy cam. And you will see why. Right. So there is my bus. The front. And there's the back. Now, now that we've, I didn't actually, I haven't tested this since I put this bit in, but since that bit's been put in, because I think this step is going to be a little bit lower. So I'm thinking it's going to go something like that. And I think that's about, if you look at the, the wheel and the level of the platform, I think that sits about right. So you see, we've got more steps to come in there. But that's looking really nice now. <laughs> so, opinions, anyone? Yeah, it's starting to look good now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There is absolutely nothing, no anger points at all for the steps yet but i'm that's basically it's resting on the edge of the chassis there so i think that's but obviously we're going to fix this this bit to the chassis first um but i was as i was putting this on because i've not put it on properly but there's lots of little anchor points like you see this bit here that goes quite nicely into the hole there on the wheel arch. And then obviously there'll be one on the other side. And you see it's not fit properly, but a little bit of a wiggle. I don't want to force it too much because I might be fitting it wrong. And once we get told how to do it, that looks a little bit out there. But then I think there's going to be a skin going over the top there. So, but that is look absolutely beautiful isn't it, it and is. we're not even quite halfway through yet no that's it so you haven't done the top deck yet no no ah. I was expecting us to do the top deck before we did the lower deck that was a joke by the way someone I have actually had someone say that disappointed we haven't done the top deck yet and I'm like, don't you think it might be a good idea to do the lower deck first? So, um, you know. <laughs> um, right, guys, I'm going to have to get you singing again because I want to put this back on my shelf, if you don't mind. So who's singing this time, Richard or um, Horlicks? Oh, oh, good heavens, no. Let's have Richard. Let's see if can have a No, guy. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I've just let's see. Oh, it's annoying because this camera boom is right in the way of my one of my monitors, and when I'm trying to do these little admin things, I, I've switched switch screens. I do. I might I might play something for you one night. Right. One yeah, night. Yeah. Sorry, I've just noticed Mark Knight is, but I think you need to do the ceiling of the lower deck first. So. Um... Right. 
So will you be scaling your passengers to the model people? Yeah, um, I've um, don't know if you remember, but I've got I've got some three D files for uh, model people, and I think that they will still be usable. But we've got to work out the scale so that they fit with the the figures that we've been supplied. Um, so I might. I oh hello, no, Richard, you're still there. Actually, am I still there? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The hangouts crashed on on the. It would let me You're rejoin. So switch, going back to the right. It's also so, getting, um, it's also getting the smaller scale Terminator, not far off the big one. Oh, oh, Sol, can I show those pictures that you sent me today? Because they just, you made me laugh so much today. It was, um, I was having a bit of a grubby time at work today, and you sent those pictures, and you really cleared up my afternoon. So, and I've lost my lighter because I've just been moving things around. So, oh, oh, I don't know. oh. Yeah, no problem. Right, brilliant. Okay, so let me find this for you. Uh, here, Penny. Done. Oh, you, you've got There's the one of them. Well. Yeah, that was the one that just like, I, it was the caption that he put. It was something like, um, give up your seat or something. For the here. And that just made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Um... But he's, oh. you see, he's filled his bus up with random figures from all over yeah. the place. There's Spider Man in there, um, Scooby Doo, not Scooby Doo, um, what's his name? Um, I don't know, Arthur, you know, Batman, you've got, oh, look, the ticket woman. Yeah. I wonder if we can get a load of figures in back. And then we can um, we can make out as um, as a stag night. So the bus has been hired for stag. That is brilliant. That is absolutely amazing. I love yeah, that. I like that. Oh, wrong way. Now you can actually buy. Um, there's a few figures you can get one to twelve scale, and there's. Um, uh, Oh, A. Thomas is saying that that platform is correct. So that's going to be the rough position it's in. Um, yeah, you can get like... Um, sorry, Richard, can I ask you a favour? Can I ask you just to hit the mute button? Because we can hear oh. everything you're doing. Oh, sorry, Ed. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's fine. Um, oh. Yeah, you can get... Um, like Stormtroopers and R2-D2 and C-3PO model kits. They're not cheap. They're about 30-odd quid each. Mm. Um, but they're all 1 to 12 scale. So if I had the money, I'd probably do a load of Stormtroopers and I'd make it look like the Root Master's going through like a checkpoint. And then I'd have the caption, these are not the droids you're looking for. So we got any more pictures? Just that one that was up now. That's just brilliant. I mean, that's that's really having fun, isn't it? Yeah. What? Someone making a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah it's me. You... Sorry. Hey. <laughs> us... eh? I say you make it us one. I was supposed to say, does anybody want a coffee? <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, I'm going to have to think about signing off because we've gone we've gone over our two and a half hours. We might as well just say it's a two and a half hour show, might we? Well, we might as well just stay until 11 o'clock. So what are we going to talk about now, then? <laughs> yeah, it's half past ten. I know, it might as well. Yeah. It goes quick. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's late for us bus drivers. I'll tell you what, while we're there, I'll change my... Um, I'll see if I can get the... Uh, the uh, let's have a little play with our thing, shall we? So I'll 
you have to get the app going again now. It's probably switched itself off. So, um, right, okay, Star Wars. That's it, actually. I will have a little play with BB 8. He's, you see, he kind of falls over a little bit. I had a play with BB 8. He goes absolutely mental because he's so quick and there isn't anything really, there's not really much friction to slow him down. So, like, when you send him shooting forwards and then you, you stop. You stop. He keeps going. He slows down rather than stops. So that's uh, connect. Actually, yeah, because I've not actually seen him in action. Yeah, but I tell you what, even the packaging on these are, are worth the money. So what you have, I'll, I'll I'll put him there, and I'll put the app there. You download the app for free, um, and then you've got like. Oh, sorry. Oh, it disconnected me for some reason. Right, so you can put him on patrol mode, and then obviously I'm going to have to catch him. And he just, he just. Oh, he is around. fast. He is, isn't he? But how does that ball stay on his head? That ball, his head thing, stay on there? Is it magnet? There's a magnet on his head. I think inside ah. you have another ball which just drives around, but yeah. yeah, he'll just he'll just um he'll just do his own thing if he bit. That's him in patrol mode. This one I like. What you can actually do is you you can draw a plot, and then he'll do what you've just asked him to do. Whatever you draw, Dude. it's what he'll do. <laughs> hmm. So. I suppose if it was on an actual proper floor, it would probably work quite well. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you've got these activities that you can do. Now, apparently, if you wear this um, band, if you walk past a certain some location, um, it will start making noises, and then you find, you find things a little bit like the Pokemon Go thing. Um, you can actually watch the Star Wars films with them and they'll react in all the right places. And they'll actually hear the film and they'll react to it. And it works out where you are in the film. <laughs> and this bit, you can get them communicating with each other. Um, I am. Ah, so this one with the interactions, they'll, they'll react when they sense you are near or you pick them up. So... There we are, look, he's reacting to me picking him up. Huh. Um, and then this is the wristbandy thing. Oh, he's so cute. He is, isn't he? And then you've got all the various different actions you can do. He's very quiet. Oh, it's because I've turned the volume. The only thing I don't like too much is the sound comes through the app, not through the BB-8. Yeah. Does he have a function where he gets an attempt from and flicks his head off? Uh, I don't, I don't know about flicking his head off, but <laughs> yeah, it's this one with a cross. Ah, oh, there we go. And then this one looks a bit, a bit frustrated. Um. Can you hear that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it is. Uh, what's this one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's just met nuts with me. Don't know if he actually works on the charger. Oh. <laughs> I think he works better free free um Ah, 
and then you just select whatever you want. And then if you actually want to control him, you use this as a joypad. And then you can control his thing. What's that one? Oh, this is to, um, you, you have to sort of align him. Here we are. You have to, there's a blue light there. I don't know if you can see it. And then you have to do it so the blue light on your drawer's body faces towards you. So that then works out which is front and back. And then you can control him. And then he'll you just basically use a joystick. And then if you want a bit of a power boost, you press that one. You see how he <laughs> <laughs> see how he's going like that speed. But then as soon as you press <laughs> That's like that's first thing in the morning. Yeah, that. I just love the way the head goes back when you hit turbo <laughs> mode. Mode, look, there's normal pace, and then he's like. <laughs> 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 obviously, if you got the room to let him go, he goes whoosh. Obviously, that's a bit more fun. How does he I, go? He goes whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I'll do is I'll scan in. <laughs> I, I like the way R2. I mean, R2 is my favourite one. Um, but yeah, P uh, P40 sound that he looks more interesting. But he kind of comes alive. One, like, there you go. He's, he's connected now. And then uh, again, he'll he'll drive just like. And then you've got the whoosh mode. Um, you've got an extra function with this one because. You can rotate the head. But... Oh, no. The sound's actually coming out of R2 on this one. <laughs> Sorry, that is my favorite function. <laughs> Love mini Sizzle. Okay, I still have a great time with them. Yeah, mine would as well. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I've got to be honest with you, it's an extravagance I probably shouldn't have had, but disapproval there, sadness. And then there's one, I think it's this one, he goes mental, he just, oops, he'll just shoot off. Oh, he's gone nice and slow there. <coughs> oh. I see uh, we have a very active person in the uh, Rootmaster group yeah. that's all good to see though isn't it nice, nice lot of activity <coughs> right okay guys so um, I ooh, are they interacting with each other I think they are I, yeah, they'll they'll randomly interact anyway. So yeah, that's those two. <coughs> when I've got yeah, um, I was just about to say, Sol. Um, I want to get there's the two bad guy. I can't remember what they're called, but you got like the dark side versions of those, and uh, they make relevant noises and and they look fun. So having four of them could be fun. And again, just like my alarm clock, my alarm clock makes fairly good reference for when i'm building the full size one he's not that accurate um but this one is slightly more accurate don't quite like the coloring there i prefer it to be like that but are they the same size ish roughly <laughs> the the alarm clock slightly smaller but he's um he's a lot more uh, tons more accurate so, um, but yeah, I, I love him. I think he's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I don't know how long I'll have fun with him. And these, I really like these. I think Richard's di disappeared. Yeah, no, I need I'm to. Still, I'm still here. Oh, I need to um, do that on my full size one. Well, not my full size, but these, the, the braided wires are really loose. 
Yeah. I keep meaning to glue them in, but I'm too scared to in case I've, I need to get into there or... Or have you needed to get into them so far? No, but later on down the line, if one of the motors packs up, I'm going to have to get uh, into there. So what about something... Um... I haven't powered them up since before. Uh, so all theoretically, all of this, what's on this, I can easily build into the full size. And then obviously I've got things like these are going to pop open, uh, which they don't on this. I've got this. Um, when I do the eye, I've actually got this. And this is a um, Christmas bauble. Make your own Christmas baubles. And they come in packs of you get 10 of them. And um, if you're going to buy these, buy them just after Christmas. It's the best time to buy them. Because they're so cheap. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's oh, no, no? Oh, Martin d who's dead. He won't do anything. Oh, no. Is he, does he need a charge? Well, I don't know. I haven't used him. Oh, I feel bad now. Yeah, um, P47 Blue Tack. Um, I'm thinking maybe glue gun or something that'll something that doesn't hold that. It holds enough, but it won't hold permanently. So on next week's show, we have repair the R2D2. Possibly. I'm just plugging him into the mains now to see if I get a light come on. Please. Maybe it has it. gone flat, but. Have you switched the bu the button on on his bottom? Yeah. Yeah, I've got oh, no. Press the button. Press the, press the power button on the coin display. Yeah, he's dead. I don't even get a charge light. Oh my god! It's plugged in. Oh no! I'll leave him plugged in for a bit and see what happens. I just thought, oh, I'll try and boot him up. Can I make a suggestion? I would take him off and put him on the floor because if you leave him charging overnight and he decides to do something, he's going to knock everything off the shelf. Oh, yeah, he's off. His power's off. He's definitely off, is yeah, he? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kevin Gates is put... Oops, I use super glue. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it probably is okay to use super glue, but... I'm just a bit paranoid in case. What I might do is just use a little bit of... Uh, well, mind you, it's not working now, so it'll probably go in the bin. But um, the, put a bit of tape or something around the, the bits that push in just to make it a tighter fit, or even a bit of uh, that, uh, heat shrink. That would work. That would just a little bit around the end, and then it'll just make it more of a tighter fit, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're right there, Richard. Yes, I'm fine. I, I just worry that we kind of neglect you. That's all right. So, right, guys, um, I really am going to end the show now because um, I'm on a ridiculously early start tomorrow, six something. And um, well, I'm, not, I'm not in till Friday. What, what, when are you in? Friday. 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 That, that's one hell of a lie, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so right, okay, guys. So um, I'm going to give everyone a chance to say goodbye. Um, so it's uh, goodbye from me. Um, it's goodbye from who do I pick first? Goodbye from Richard. <laughs> Bye. I hope you've all enjoyed having Richard on the show, and it's uh, goodbye from Horlix. Bye. See you later, and I'll give Bye. you an update next week. About yeah, we, we want it. Oh, um, next week I haven't asked him yet, but I don't even know if he's still watching. Um, next week the issue is divisible by four, which means we get Dave say if he comes on. So can't guarantee that yet. Cause obviously, you might have something on. Um, right. So, right, guys, you take care, everybody, and we will see you next week where we are doing something to do with the ceiling. All right. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye.